On April 7th, 2023, at around 4.24 p.m., a call was made to the emergency 911 center. A female caller reported that there was a man at McDonald's and he was upset that his order was incorrect. The caller continued to state that there were five people being held at gunpoint. She also stated the suspect had a large firearm and was threatening to kill anyone. The caller told dispatch she was hiding inside the restroom, but when she noticed deputies arrived, the line disconnected. When deputies arrived, they discovered everything was normal. Deputies spoke to the manager and she said there wasn't any incident. After a thorough investigation, deputies discovered that someone inside the lobby had made the false call. The female who made the false call was later identified as 18-year-old Tiara Everett. Somebody public service with her in the restaurant. Wow. I, I don't know. I, I need to know which one to go to. Hey, like the interstate right there. Only one that close to this one is going on. Uh, Any up. other unit coming to McDonald's, check the one on Spring Street. Hey, yes sir, can I speak with a dispatch one? 
Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'll let you talk about it. Hey, you Okay, then. All right, so this number that I'm calling from, is this the number that called in in reference to that uh, hostage at uh, McDonald's? Over here. Are you in? Yes, sir, it is. It's the same number? Yes, sir, it is. Well, let this let one know we got the person who made the call. Are you, you, you have the person that made the call? Well, this is her phone. Okay, so you have her phone, but do you have her? Yeah, she's here. I got the phone from her. So this is the phone, this is the number right here that came from that uh came from that call that made the original call. Yes, sir, it is. There it is. Can you put this number in the cab? Well, my cab ain't up, but still put it in the cab from the dispatch. We out with a uh Chris. Yeah, I will. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you got an ID? Okay then. Alright, well thank you. Well, we finna do something to her. We got her over here, though. She was, she was on the phone. Uh, looked like she was talking about Wi-Fi, I think. Uh, and uh, so we, I got the phone from her. She let me use it. I called 911, and, and this is and this the number that's been called. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. This is it. This is the phone. Let's get her information. See what she got going on. You got some ID on now. Uh, you got some ID on. Yeah, I got a paper stuff on my ID. Is hey, this what you want right now? What is it, Georgia ID? Yeah. Is this you right here? Yeah, that's my old copy right there. You ever had this? Have you ever had a driver license? Uh-uh, I was going to get those this year. What is this right here? Uh, huh? This a, this a uh, uh, learner? No, uh, that's ID. my ID. You ain't got no ID no more? I see it. I can't hardly see it. Oh, type. Uh. <sighs> she can run that uh, ID for me. ID number. Come in my office. Come in my office. It's gonna be named at birth. Last name Everett. It's E B E R E T T. First name Tiara. T I A R A. It's T I A. Date of birth. Why is she doing that? Oh, well, she don't call several times and three. I think it's because I took so long to interview. Yeah, but she called several times saying she was in the bathroom, somebody had your hostage and all this stuff in here, by gunpoint. Hmm. And that is a little to start all kind of ruckus going on in here. Yeah, a marriage of a police officer, honey. Don't okay. be that kind of craziness. Uh-uh. That's my lieutenant that's caller. That's false report. Hey, exactly. Brian, too. Hello. Uh, I broke away to come to uh, McDonald's over here and reference to... Uh, uh, somebody said uh, they had a uh, hostage in McDonald's over here. Well, came in here. Uh, this girl for a job interview. So she had a phone. I, got, I just got the phone from her probably about five minutes ago. Uh, got the phone from her. Dispatch couldn't never trace the call. She said to disconnect the phone. Well, I got her phone and called 911. This is the phone that she been calling saying that uh, somebody got people here hostage here at McDonald's or Oak Mugies. So she's sitting in here now, and I'm gonna get ready to call her uh, a person that's dead. What? Y'all gonna hit me? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, a little bit? Well, a lot of bit, yeah. So what you talking about? Huh? I just got here for an interview. I know. I ain't gonna go down for no more, I'm not doing it. And then you think I'm gonna call y'all and describe myself? That's stupid. And if you gonna anybody use your phone? Don't nobody use my phone? Well, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Cause I can sit right here. I'm not being, I left my stuff on the table and I went to the restaurant. That was it. My phone, 
first. Oh, that was on the table. How old are you? 18. I don't do no best like that. You're a child. Who's your parent? You got? I don't stay with him. You just got the phone with him. Oh, that's sure. Who is that? That's my mom in law. Your mother in law? Yes. She just dropped me off. You got any other family? No, I don't fool with them. Okay. Yeah. She got her thing. No T99 on that. I came back here. That ain't me. 3C13, this is what you need to come back on that. Huh? It ain't me. Why would I call y'all and describe myself? I'm slow. I'm gonna lock my phone right now and show you what I'm doing here. What's she see? What's she see? Sound like y'all. What's she see? Turn on that last. See, look. That ain't my address. This is what I'm gonna be doing the whole time. Making videos and editing and stuff. That's all I'm doing. You trying to say me? Why would I call this person and describe myself? Can I, can I talk stupid. to her? Do you mind? Maduce. Yeah. If you want to talk to me, they trying to say that I called them and describe myself. They trying to say I called them and describe myself. That's slow. She left her purse on the table with her phone on the purse, and she went to the bathroom and left it there on the table. That's crazy. She said she didn't want to take it in the bathroom and get it dropped in the toilet like she did the other one. So there she's sitting, still sitting. Her purse is there, and she's sitting. Mm -hmm. She's real calm, isn't she? Yeah. Now she's a little shaky. But you can see her sitting there the whole time. That's why I got this apple. I haven't seen her move yet, and we're back at 1649. So she's lying to y'all. She says she moved. We're all right. We're to 451. What time did we get this call? 1623. Simple. You said 1623? Yep. 1623. So you want me to go back to 1600? Okay. I think the second time we came in right there. Yeah. So let's go to. 16. We'll go to 400. 
she's not there at 4 o'clock. Listen, the phone proof listen. And that's at four o'clock and y'all come in at four twenty three. So let's go to let's go to the next let's go into the main entrance. She's not in the main entrance here. Do you have to make reservations and uh come for the interview? Mm hmm So she was supposed to be here for the interview. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's front counter. That's the main entry. And this is where she's been sitting all time. And we're at 410 now. So if y'all received it at 423, there might be a five minute gap, you think? Mm -hmm. There she's sitting now. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -mm. That looked like her. Somebody's sitting there. And she just left. Okay. So let's see where she goes. And now she's back. She said she went to the bathroom. She ain't come around. Uh -uh. I mean, she did come in a bit of steady time. I'll call it busy. But I have not seen a woman come into out of that bathroom yet. So we've watched it from 4:45 to 5. And we've watched it from 4.23 to 4.30. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen her move. Have you? I haven't seen her. And there y'all just came in the door. That don't make any sense. Why would she do that? Attention. Drama. She's still sitting out there. Thank you. Okay, she's got to get your hat ready. Okay. Well, we got to I'll be here until midnight. Okay. I'm serious. She's saying that her what did she call her and then her mother-in-law saying that her mom has been calling now wherever she goes her mom calls 911 and so like for her as a runaway and how they using your phone stuff. huh how they using your phone I'm on the internet I talk to my dad that's my dad all right well you gonna have to come with us okay oh y'all yeah for what what's going on Miss you the 911 call, okay? That's not me. Come on. So Stand can up. I call her and tell her how to call? Come on. Don't put this in the pocketbook, okay? Up on down off the So y'all can take me for none that I didn't do? Ma'am, come on. <sighs> Stop twitching your wrist. That's not too tight. Everett was taken into custody and transported to the Bibb County Law Enforcement Center. She was charged with false report of a crime and unlawful conduct during a 911 call. As always, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this incident down in the comment section below.